Thanks for tuning in to another New England Metal Jackets video. Here we're taking an M4E1 Aero Precision upper receiver out of its box, taking a look at it. We are getting ready to lap this bad boy for a customer of ours. Here we're taking our Aero Precision upper receiver and placing it into the Wheeler Tools upper receiver vice block. Here we're taking the pins and placing them into the tool, securing the upper receiver into the vice block. Now we are going to lubricate the inside of the upper receiver for the Wheeler Tools lapping tool designed for the AR-15. I've already applied the lapping compound to the mating face of the tool so that we can take some paint and material off of the upper receiver where the barrel mates to the upper receiver. This is an effort to help with accuracy and consistency with the AR. In the course of lapping the upper receiver, I do this process a few times, and each time I clean the surface off a little bit, checking to see the progress that's being made, because the goal is to take enough material off to get it down to bare metal, but not to take too much. Through this process, you can observe me reapplying the lapping compound that's been forced off of the mating surface that we are lapping so that I can keep the lapping compound in the area that the work is being done so that it can do its job. Now we are nearing the end of this lapping process on this upper receiver. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. We have reached the point of having the anodization removed from that circumference of that mating surface. So we give it a good wipe down, clean off all the gritty lapping compound from the upper receiver, and then we remove it from the tool. As you're about to see here, the upper receiver is down to bare metal in the entire area where the barrel meets the upper receiver. And now we are going to give the upper receiver a good cleaning of all of that gritty lapping compound that has worked its way into the threads of the upper receiver. We want to make sure that's nice and clean so that we don't have any of that lapping compound in there for when we screw on the barrel nut. After a thorough scrubbing and cleaning of the threads of the upper receiver, we give it a good inspection to make sure that our work is done. We have completed the cleaning process and this upper receiver is ready to move on to the next process of the build. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. See you next time.